Memphis nigga everywhere I go. Memphis nigga everywhere I go. Memphis nigga everywhere I go. They get it. Memphis nigga everywhere I go. Memphis nigga everywhere I go. They get it. Memphis nigga everywhere I go. Memphis nigga everywhere I go. They get it. Memphis nigga everywhere I go. They get it. Memphis nigga everywhere I go. I was real like city girl. Hey, Memphis nigga everywhere I go. Hey, break the bitch down, finna break it down a little more. Run up money, finna run it up a little more. Chop niggas up, finna chop a little more. Chop it up, nigga, hell no She wanna lay up all night, bitch, hell no Hoodie on my head, no shoe like mellow Kept him in the hood, he ain't make it up to get it up Make a nigga here where I go Ten toe down, yeah, hard on the hoe Call so, fuck a hoe, then I got a roll My boyfriend, man, had to punch his ass roll Bitch, cause you make a dance, you my boys hit him It's something about When you try to be on time for something <laughs> You still end up being late Random, I know Hey, it's day two It's day two I'm late <laughs> I'm, I'm really late. So, in my defense, I had to, I had to refresh myself because, yeah, I can't go up and I can't go nowhere smelling like the outdoors, and I don't even camp. I don't really deal with the weird wilderness, whatever. But first day recap, I I wanted to say this on the first video, but I couldn't. One thing that was really bothering me was the simple fact that like there was somebody in there and there's no like no shade but I just couldn't I can't do it. It was this like this this real strong ass odor. And it smelled like bounce that ass and I just I couldn't do it. It wasn't even just that, it was just the person really continued to ask me to do stuff numerous times for them. And I'm like, bro, I don't know you. And I get it, I get it. Comfortability is key, but like, come on, though. You can do it for yourself too. But let's just let's just hope today that doesn't happen again. Because I'm not gonna sit next to this person at all. Even if they try to sit next to me, I'm not doing it. But yeah, day two. We finna see how this goes. It's cold as hell out here. I don't know why Georgia feels like Colorado without the snow. So stay tuned. I'm gonna update y'all after I am done. And yeah. Yeah, I'm done. This, this day two is over with. I guess we, we're gonna go for the little recap, right? Like I said, I was late. Right? So I thought. So I thought I was late. I, I really wasn't late. I was on time. It's weird. But as I walked in, right, five other people was right behind me. I guess we was doing the intro or whatever. And my first day, I didn't like really introduce myself because I didn't have the opportunity to. I had to do something else. I had to do like the, I guess the in processing portion. I don't know what it was, but I don't know. But pretty much, to <laughs> One thing that I never really say is my real name, because I don't like people know my real name. Because, yeah, I just don't like it. I like it, but I don't like other people saying it. That makes sense. But, so, I introduced myself, said my name, and everybody, like, and it's like a run-on joke because of my name and who I'm named after or whatever. So, after that, said what I had to say, woo-woo-woo, that was cool or whatever. So, went into it, like a little exercise, and it was meditation which was very it was very like it was very useful you know what i'm saying <laughs> for me it was <laughs> should be laughing but this is funny i'm sorry it's funny so <laughs> they tell everybody like yo we want to turn out the lights nobody fall asleep everybody like yeah, yeah, yeah we ain't gonna fall asleep, gonna fall asleep. bruh <laughs> When I tell you, I'm hearing the most craziest snores, motherfuckers in there farting. I'm like, bro, y'all are just the most outlandish shit you can think of was happening all in the midst of 10 minutes of meditation. Like, <laughs> it was crazy, bro. So after that was over with, like, the lady was like, so how was it for everybody? <laughs> you still got motherfuckers in there, like, snoring and shit, like, for instance, there was a one, one lady was like this, like, I can't make up, she. <laughs> my 
mouth gap open, snoring, you hear me? Like, snoring. Besides that, like, going through the, um, the actual lessons and everything, it was pretty, it was insightful. Talking about different things, wise mind, rational mind. Know, stuff like that but then like again it's always something about that ending part that always like gets me the group like this is the group and everybody just coming out and expressing i'm not gonna lie and this is my downfall i do not like expressing fully everything right so my first real big time for me really being vulnerable to me honestly to people i really don't know fully is see y'all on, my, on this first episode of Roads of Recovery, that was like, honestly, like, really being vulnerable. Like, I'm not like that. So that little moment to me, I'm trying not to be so weird about that. But I'm not I, I'm not open like that with people I don't know. I'm not. And even with those that I do know, it's, it's very difficult for me because it's just something that I wasn't brought up on. It wasn't something that was always accepted. And then already, it's already a stigmatism of males are supposed to grow up to be tough and etc cetera, etc cetera, so whatever it was just the the stuff that people express and how to cope and everything and you just hit the stories bro it's just the stories like you just you hear other people's trials and tribulations that they going through and what they're currently enduring and what's hard for them it's just crazy now even in the midst of the seriousness yeah, I know I'm gonna still find something that's funny. The lady, the lady next to me, shit, is, I, I should not laugh, but I had to. She's a grandmother, and props to her for even being there. But the whole time, she like, <laughs> keep like tapping me. I'm like, why are you tapping me, bro? Like, uh, what? He called your name? No, he ain't called my fucking name. I ain't, nah, I'm sitting there quiet, I'm listening. Oh, okay. You know what time lunch? I don't know what the f no uh, lunch ain't this time, lady. What the f <laughs> like? What the f is wrong with you? And like she's fidgety, and I I get why she's fidgety. I know why she's fidgety. It's just she kept doing it. And then my first friend I met on my first day, he was ironically I don't know how they know where I'm sitting at, but these is certain individuals that sit by me all the time, and we don't have a signed seat. We do not. But it's like he always finds me, bro. He always. And he's sitting next to me. He's sitting right next to me. Gapped open, coughing, blowing his breath on me. Ugh. Ugh, fuck. Just, uh. yeah, anyway. But besides all uh, that, day two is cool, man. Like, I will say my, my cons, personally for myself, I need to... I need to finally speak. I don't. I don't like speaking. I don't want to say nothing. I'm. I'm quiet. I just. I, I observe. I'm listening. I haven't said nothing. And honestly, that's just me. That's just me not saying. Shit. I just don't want to speak. I'm still upset. I'm still angry. I still have a lot of anger and hate in my heart. I'm not gonna even sit up here and act like I'm just perfect. I'm not. I have hate in my heart right now. I still do. I have a lot of it. And so. I'm trying to find a way to let this shit out, but let it out in a way that's not so resentful, you know what I'm saying? But we'll see. I got time to do it, but hopefully sooner or later I say something and I express why I'm there, what I'm trying to get past, and you know what I'm saying? It's baby steps. We're taking baby steps. More to come on that, though. It's always day three, right? We'll see. But I'm gonna leave y'all with a quote on here. And uh, I'm gonna see y'all day three on the way. Stay tuned. Peace.